Here is a list of people who attempted to steal 42 million loot from me but none of them came even close because of this secret tunnel I built. To tell you everything from the beginning then in my last video I constructed a castle troll base that was couple of times slightly dominated by the 100 thieves who are without a doubt the strongest troop in the game when it comes to borrowing some loot from other bases. These Grinch looking troops with their brown backpacks from the dollar store can literally rob a completely maxed out Town Hall 15 from all the resources with little to no effort at all and there is pretty much nothing you can do about it except watch and cry as your finances are disappearing. Pretty sad in it? Don't worry. I have a solution for you. To build a successful loot protection base against sneaky goblins you will need to do 4 things. Firstly place all your loot as far from the base border as possible so that the goblin will run out of breath before they get to the core because as we know even the most athletic goblin has stamina for 5 seconds only and after that they are out of the race. Second of all give the goblins one free tunnel to the loot paradise but don't tell them that in reality this tunnel has a trampoline park built inside where all the 2.5 kilogram heavy goblins will get a free flight to the Mars. Thirdly place that tiny fake bottle of elixir in front of the tunnel so it creates an illusion as if there is an extra elixir storage. And lastly even if they will get past that fake bottle of elixir offer them some of that Fanta as a reward for making it so far and also to quench their thirst. Since we are looking for the best sneaky goblin pro players in the game then there is no better place than the bronze league. After donating a wake ups by letting royal champion throw that bird few times we safely landed to the desired destination. Then I invited over some friends to enjoy the fail compilation altogether that was about to happen but then I remembered those comments under the recent update spending spree video where some of you said that I did not max out the bk. My bad. I apologize. I'm going to fix it right now using all the hero books and dark elixir runes I have. Now it was time to log out of Clash of Clans and wait. While we are waiting I need to quickly mention something very important. The CEO of Apple Tim Cook, Rick Astley, and many others have noticed an increase in their IQ after subscribing to my YouTube channel, and in some rare cases even over 9000 IQ. So if you want to get extra IQ yourself then hit that big old red button right now before it's too late because after 1 million subscribers there will be no more free IQ giveaways. Ok it seems the visitors have finally arrived with loads of gifts and first up the devil himself showed up but immediately got scared to even walk his dog for more than 2 seconds around my base so he left. Then one lonely goblin came to take a quick sniff of my gold and then also left. It appears to be that my newly designed troll base looks so scary that people simply can't handle staying more than 2 seconds until a 44 year old BK arrived alongside with that red G wagon that ran over him so he had to take a quick sip of protein shake to grow some legs in order to survive so he can say hi to his grandfather who recently went to hairdresser to get those black stripes tied to his hair for 11 euros and 99 cents. Grandpa's new hair looked so fresh that both BK's slightly older wife and 12 years old daughter got too jealous of it so they tried to pull them off using a bow and a massive needle which did not work very well up until BK came and used that wall hack. Then a squad of detectives came to inspect the murder scene but little did they know that they are not very welcome there as the queen is still quite mad that the grandpa had prettier hairstyle and in fact so mad that she decided to take his new boyfriend and leave. But luckily though a person with punch of friendly birds and a balloon came to fly around the base and admire how brilliantly constructed it is so I took it as a compliment and sent my clan castle troops to give them a warm welcome but for some reason my CC troops in the other hand received a very cold welcome so they took it personally and straight away went to kick out rest of the angry birds. In the end the visitors took about 12,000 pictures of the base cried 16,000 drops of tears and due to the spookiness of the base pooped their pants for 280 to times. But where are all the goblins that we came to search in bronze? Well, different clashers came to flex their goblin armies but no one had the courage to actually use them. All they wanted to do was to put their heroes to sleep as quickly as possible and go. The base was looking so scary to the thieves due to all the anti-theft technology that I had to take it into my own hands and show to the people in Bronze League how to beat anyone at anything using goblins, including a football match. 
As you can hear the atmosphere is absolutely electric on the COC arena. Especially the Team Goblin supporters allowed while Team Heroes are fairly quiet which seems as if they are much rather watching trees grow than an intense game of football. It looks like the match has just begun as Lionel Goblimacy is already running past the old man right to the gold storage but little did he know this is illegal which caused him to receive a red card. Then a number 7 player Cristiano Goblin Aldo entered the football field and attempt to score a hat trick but unfortunately the pirate girl didn't fell for his dribbles today and off the map he went. After many more substitutes Team Goblin finally got past the halfway line for the first time but then the pirate girl called them a punch of Mike Wazowskis but with no eyes in order to get attention, which she shorted. After Kimmich Busquets and Modric triple tackled the pirate girl it was time to send in the whole football team to tackle rest of the enemies. Once team heroes were all little dizzy spinning near the center line some of their fans started throwing trash towards my players but despite of being on enemy's home field we were still easily able to score two goals and take home all the prize money possible. After the whole bronze league were able to witness how easily these green guys work I finally started receiving goblin visitors myself to see the full potential of this anti-theft technology that I had come up with in my base. This attacker in particular called King thought of a bright idea to distract my CCTV from identifying the burglars using his completely maxed out queen but little did he know yo boy Jaso was ready to serve that bottle of fizzy fun to for those visitors for the rest of the evening as more and more goblins came to get excessive amounts of sugar up until it was all finished. As said there was no more fun to so they decided to drink up all of my black coffee and little bit of that strawberry smoothie too which gave them some lightning speed to run around the core until my irrigation sprinklers wiped them out of my base. I did not like the fact that almost all of my black coffee was taken from me so I decided to give it to my freezy walrus friend Frosty who looked very energetic after such a big dose of caffeine. Since the coffee cup was empty then I thought it would be wise to replace it with a monolith which indeed was more scary for the visitors as they didn't even dare to dump all of their full armies near my base anymore. As you can see here is another example of sneaky goblins running into the tunnel to have some fun in the trampoline park as they are flying up and down like little kids. Then it was time for the last attack to decide if this base is really worthy the title and he goblin or not. Like almost every other visitor so far then also this person cleaned those basically empty collectors out of the way first but then as seen from the clock a couple of hours long deep strategical analysis started where he was clearly using every single brain cell inside his skull to plan carefully where and when and how he is going to deploy his troops so that every single one of them would die. The planning was definitely paying off as even 11 turbo boost spells couldn't really help him out of this sticky situation. Anyway if you enjoyed this video then I am 99% sure you will also like this video about 11 most epic duels in Clash of Clans including Mighty Yak vs Unicorn. Have a lovely day.